friends and welcome back. I am so excited for today's video because I wanted to share with you an update on my swimwear line. If you aren't familiar, earlier this year I did announce that I was going to be launching my own swimwear line and a lot has happened within the last seven to eight months and I just wanted to get an update over to you. I did mention in that initial video that I was going to create a series and kind of document everything but I think you'll understand more so why in this video you didn't see more YouTube posts about it. Really I just wanted to discuss my my successes, my failures, what I've learned, what I would do different, especially if you're looking to start your own clothing brand, e-commerce store, or even your own swimwear line. I just wanted to share with Anime Swimwear, I am doing an end of the summer sale with the California collection, so check it out. It's 50% off if you're looking for like a new staple luxury swim set definitely take a look at my website. I think you'll find something on there you love. So let's jump into it. process was a lot more than I anticipated. I knew I definitely wanted to treat it like a real professional business. I went through all the hoops of getting my own business license, a seller's permit, set up my own business bank account with Bank of America. I had to set up my own EIN tax ID number, how I wanted to structure the business entity. Uh, and really, I was kind of a one-man show. I did everything as far as building the website, uploading the inventory, uploading the thumbnails, and writing the description for everything. I did all of the social media marketing. When orders were placed, I did the packaging. I did the shipping. <laughs> I drove to the post office. So it was a lot. I did document some things along the way, but it was hard doing it all. The expenses. I knew it was going to be expensive, but it was a lot more expensive than I anticipated. It was a couple thousand dollars for the swim inventory, and I was my own investor. I didn't have anyone else helping me out with this. And honestly, I kind of like that because it's your own motivation. You know, it's your own money at stake. And I didn't really have high expectations for myself. Like I had high goals and high standards, but I wanted to keep my expectations low as far as break evens and profits. And I could have gone the route of getting like wholesale in bulk and then like just putting on my own tags. I truly from the bottom of my heart wanted this to be a luxurious swimwear line even if nobody bought it a lot. My name was going on this product and I wanted this fabric and quality to be really nice. So right now I'm kind of doing my own quality control because it turns out that there are three sets so far that have defaults. So like this one, the stitching um, was backwards on one of them and then I'm missing gold hardware on two of the black ones for the beachcomber set. I think the trickiest part was figuring out what's how many sizes of each to order and of course when you go through a manufacturer there's called an moq which is a minimum order quantity so you have to order a certain amount in each color and size in order to get the wholesale pricing so it wasn't like i could just launch you know 20 different designs colors and styles this was a lot of money i only released four different colors and designs so it was really expensive not to mention the cost of things like photography photography was like twelve hundred dollars and that was on me but but I think photography is probably the number one thing, uh, you know, next to the products that you should be making sure you invest good money in. So I did a ton of research on the photographer that I wanted. I, it was so hard to find a photographer that I felt could accomplish my vision that had the same vibe, the same aesthetic. I did do a California photo shoot and then I also had the photographer take my swimsuits with her to Hawaii and she did a brand photo shoot. There are a million and other miscellaneous things that I had to purchase along the way that was like why is this costing me so much money? It just adds up. Things like a label maker, tags, stickers, tissue paper, packaging that I wanted to put my swimsuits in. All of this together was adding up to a couple hundred bucks. After like launch, I considered possibly sewing the swimsuits myself. It was so much fun doing this, but it just wasn't practical. The amount of time it takes to sew a swimsuit was just time that could be spent elsewhere. It's all about working smart not harder and I knew my brain could be more productive doing other things marketing growing the brand and not so much focusing on making the product when I could just be using a manufacturer 
I think the best part about it was seeing a vision that I have come to life. And it was also the photo shoot. Having the models try on the swimsuits and seeing them wear it, seeing them at the beach. And it was just like, oh my goodness, like from the start, I had a vision for what I wanted the swimsuit to look like. And then having it arrive in the mail, seeing it on different models other than myself, it was just absolutely a rewarding experience to see that hard work pay off. All right, let's dive into the nitty gritty, the numbers, the sales. So sales were super strong once I initially launched. I think it was like really important to create like a hype teasers for the launch. And I would say this is definitely one of the hardest parts was like, when do I release it? What to expect, how to hype up the brand without, you know, giving away too much. I think that was one of the hardest parts. The sales in the beginning were really strong, mostly from friends who had been following along with my journey from the very beginning. I would say after like two weeks, the sales just kind of stopped. There weren't any more sales and mind you, I'm still a very small brand. I had only had like a couple hundred, like three, 400 followers on the Instagram account and I was just sharing it mostly with family and friends. And then I released a Memorial Day sale and that was when things really started to kick off and that's when a lot of the sales started to kick off. Not all at once, but throughout the week, I was noticing, okay, you know, two sales here, a sale there. I noticed a lot of my stock was getting depleted in certain sizes, which was really exciting. My two most popular swimsuits were the Doheny set and the Beachcomber Black One Piece swimsuit. So these were staple swimsuits. Um, and then next to that was the uh, San O set. And then lastly, the Laguna set, I would say was probably the least popular, which is kind of ironic because the Laguna set is actually my favorite. Still, the sales weren't as much as you might expect. I was making a lot more money off of this just because the price of each swimsuit was going from you know a hundred to two hundred dollars so there were some girls who were so amazing and they had purchased multiple swimsuits so the revenue was a lot more versus you know if I were selling a product for ten fifteen dollars planning ahead. It takes a long time to produce mass swimsuits. I'm already starting my 2022 summer collection now. I was trying to launch a business and I thought it could be done within three to four months when in reality, I personally feel like I need an entire year to really plan out the designs, confirm that the fabrics are available, confirm how the production is coming along, you know, setting it up for the photography, the marketing, and just making sure that it's all ready. Yes, I need an entire year. Lastly, my vision for the swimwear brand, how it came out versus what I expected, sort of like an expectations versus reality. I would say the brand image came out to about 80% of what I wanted it to be, which might be a shock. I definitely wanted it to be more more inclusive of more body types as far as the models go oh, and don't get me wrong the models were gorgeous swimsuits looked beautiful on them but the models actually came with the photographer uh, that I picked I would love to eventually bring out plus sizes but right now my budget can only afford extra small to extra large because there is a premium uh, for introducing the plus sizes which I just don't have the funds for right now but as far as body types I'm hoping to be a little bit more inclusive of that one big thing too was I wanted a more slightly vintage feel with the branding and I feel like it kind of strayed off from that a little bit in the beginning when I first launched it. I'm not big on lots of bright colors and you know I'm all about staple pieces, classic pieces, things are, that are going to last a long time and then just sort of like that laid back chill Hawaiian California vibe which I think 80% of that was accomplished, but there I do have a vision in my head. It's hard to speak it into words. I definitely feel like I know how I'm going to accomplish that in the next collection, so I'm very excited about that. So I hope this video was informative. I hope you enjoyed my journey if you've been supporting me on the Anime Swimwear Instagram account, if you've purchased from my website. Just know I truly, truly appreciate you and your support. Whenever I see a new order come in, really my heart is filled with so much joy and each of my orders are packed with so much love by myself. And yeah, until next time, I will see you in another video soon. Bye. I'm looking out from my window.